What's up guys, it's Chaos, and today we're going to be replacing the handguards on Project Broadsword. The wood handguards did not work out at all, so uh, I got something a little, little different, a little nicer to, uh, to replace them, and uh, we're going to go ahead and put them on today. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and pull off the Magpul front and rear sight. <laughs> okay. That might have to wait until the charging handle's out. Alright, so next I've got to take the upper off of the lower receiver. Got these really nice Delrin takedown punches. Just give these a tap. That way you don't mar up the finish. Because these are not quite loose enough to pull out by hand. Alright. There we go. And now I can just pull that pin out. So there is the upper and the lower. Yeah, ooh, pretty. All right, so I'm just going to set this aside. Now I can take the bolt carrier out. That's a little dirty. And take the charging handle out. And now the rear sight will come sliding off. And now I can attach it into this Delrin vice block. As you can see here, it actually goes in the receiver like this and uh, the tabs actually slide down and line up all right so I've got that Delrin block lined up with a little massaging and uh, this should just yep go right through you want to be careful with the hammer I know these holes are lined up I looked just needs a little help the tolerances are very, very tight on this upper and lower receiver set. So, all right, so I've got the Delrin block installed. I'm going to go ahead and take off the muzzle brake, the dissipator gas block, and the actual gas block. Okay, so there's the muzzle brake. There's the fake gas block. The triangle thing. I don't know what that's actually called. Don't care. And now I gotta take off the actual gas block. Okay, so I got the gas block off. The one set screw, uh, I guess, seized in there and started stripping out, so uh, that was interesting. Uh, I did eventually get it off. I had to tap it with the hammer lightly and uh, kind of massage it forward because it was loose enough, it was out far enough, but uh, yeah. All right, so now I've got to go ahead and mount this in a vise so that uh, I can go ahead and take this off. All right, so the next step is to break this barrel nut delta ring combo loose. And uh, I actually already did that off camera. So I guess I just got to spin it off of here. I don't know. It was kind of loose, but... Uh, I don't think it's a big issue. When I say loose, I mean it was easy to break loose. Not like, oh my god, it's freaking loose. This, I'm actually going to reuse on the Chaos Carbine. And uh, I'll just set that aside. Now, I can go ahead and install the other handguard. Alright, so to give away a little bit of what I'm doing... I actually am installing a Yankee Hill free float. I'm not going to show you which one yet, but as per their instructions, I'm going to go ahead and give this a good wipe down, clean, you know, just clean up the threads. And that makes sense because you don't want you don't want that crap getting in there and screwing up the uh, the threads. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put this free float barrel nut on here. They say get it hand tight. And of course they want you to use their forearm wrench, but uh, we'll see this way. Yeah, that should just line right up. That's great. Okay, so what they tell you to do on the instructions is to tighten it hand tight, and then tighten it just a little bit more so that it lines up with the hole in the upper receiver. And I confirm that with this Allen key. just goes right in there. And you can see in the middle and a little bit here that that lines up nicely. Okay, so the next step is to take this jam nut 
and install it on here. Basically, obviously you want to find the threads. You don't want to start cross-threading something like this. And this, you know, there we go. All right, so you may notice that things are a tad bit different now than they were a couple seconds ago, and that is because, one, the battery died, two, it's a couple days later, and three, the gas block is different. Let me break it down for you like this. I got it all back together, and I realized why the end broke on the other one, so I decided to, to take it apart and switch out the gas block. I think what was happening with this one is I could never get these set screws tight and they ended up stripping out and I think it was moving forward on the barrel and basically this part was touching the inside of the wooden handguard because we had just made enough space for it to fit in there and it, I think what happened was it had moved forward and basically yanked on the whole forearm and snapped the weakest point so this Badger Ordnance 875 gas block piece of junk went with a Troy Industries one like almost, I think it's like $20 cheaper than this one down here. And it went on, no problems. You know, set screws are good to go. So I got it all back together, and now we're going to complete the handguard installation. So I got the jam nut set up. And here is the handguards. And you'll notice I already have the end cap installed and the front sight, because basically... It doesn't matter, you know, when you install those. Just got to find the threads here. All right, so I got the threads started here. And basically, you just got to spin this on until it meets up with the jam nut here. And, you know, you want it to line up with the rail on the top of your upper, uh, upper receiver. And, yes, this is a lot of threads. I actually don't have the pins in this Delrin block because this piece was uh, hitting the last time I installed this. This like extension piece for the rail was actually hitting the block. So I just moved it back. It's still on there pretty tight, so I'm fine. And some more threads. Okay, so there it's actually about to hit the upper receiver. So what you do is you line this up and then move the jam nut basically out to where it interacts with the fore end. You'll get that tight, move it, and then what you need to do is take these anti-rotation screws and install them so the whole thing doesn't rotate on you. I know, anti-rotation screws that cause anti-rotation? Very, very confusing. Okay, so there it is. The Yankee Hill Machine Todd Jarrett Signature Free Float Forearm on my 50 Beowulf Project Broadsword Upper. The Magpul sights are on there. The end cap is on. Basically, at this point, I just need to install the muzzle brake and reinstall the bolt and charging handle and then put it back together. So, I'm just going to quickly do that and fast forward. All right, there it is. Project Broadsword, new Todd Jarrett Yankee Hill Machine end Looks freaking awesome. Real excited about that. You can see the nice stainless barrel through there. And uh, yeah, hopefully soon we will get back out to the range and get this thing shooting again. Thanks for watching.